What's going on guys and gals? This is Rustin Moorfield, River at Catfishing. I have had quite a few updates done on the boat. I've taken it out on a couple tournaments. Through some trials and errors, fished a few times, uh, found a couple little tweaks here and there, uh, but I've got a few updates for you. So why don't we get to it? All right, as we're going through these updates, how about we start at the front of the boat? So, as you see here, I've got a Minn Kota Tarova that is nine pilot. It's a 80 pound thrust, 60 inch. I got a really good deal on it. Uh, like I said in the first videos, I'm keeping this a budget build. Now, I picked this adapter here up at uh, Bass Pro. So I just got it connected to the factory. Well, not factory. I had to replace it, but pretty simple little connection there. That's eight gauge here. And then there's four gauge running all the way back to the better. We'll get to that in a minute. Up here, you'll see what looks like a normal live well. And you see there's a shut off. show you the reason for that shut off in a minute there used to be two live wells with this boat so this boat here you see i just got her taped up in the side i do have a light down there and i'm going to show you what these other gadgets are so this is your fill tube that's what fills the live well you have another hose right there you have a venturi system here so you got your pump that pulls out it goes up in the venturi system the venturi system which you can see right there there's the air intake it's a max air venturi system so that venturi system it works best if it's into the water and it creates a little bit of current so it actually creates current pushes it around and keeps the bubbles going down into the water now it actually keeps live um Keeps shad alive all day during the tournament on my last tournament, so it does really well. So next step here, you'll see I've got, and yes, this is backwards, you would think, but there's plenty of room to get up on here. And by the way that this consoles are, this is how I had to fit this tank in here. So as of right now, I've got another shutoff valve here for this for this tank and then again i've got another venturi system as you see right there on the side max air intake venturi system we kept five fish alive during the entire tournament last time and it was 90 something degrees outside so this well this live well does work very well there is some metal shavings in there because i just added this light and this uh um, inlet here i tested it already on the water and it worked just fine so let me move on to the next part of the boat. Okay, so last video you guys did not see this console in here. It was just this console. I did finish that one, but to finish that one, I can't really show you that well, but I had to cut and stop that uh, rod locker. My rod locker is now only about 52 inches long, but it carries my paddle and it carries my light for the um, my anchor light. And up here, haven't done much. Just added a uh, 12 volt plug here temporarily. And again, Lowrance HDS 7 carbon. And right here, so. I went fishing about a month ago. Got sunburned pretty bad. It was supposed to be overcast, raining, and everything else all day. Turns out it was sunny and hot. I got sunburned. Came home, ordered this top. This top is nothing fancy. It's just a $140 top from Amazon. But it's six foot. It's a three bow, bow bow, however you want to call it. Um, but it works just fine. I've ran this top at 38 mile an hour. It claims it's rated for 25. I've ran it at 30, uh, 38, and it's still got the factory 
um, plastic and it's holding just fine so my next step here my father helped me build a rod rack this is steel but the steel is believe it or not fairly light um, I mean this is not a solid pipe this is only I don't know I don't know maybe uh, eighth inch maybe not I don't know either way We've got this bait prep table. It's sitting down there instead of up there because whenever it rides, this does flex a little bit and it just flaps in the wind. So we went ahead and um, I take it off after, after every trip. Also, the top does not come up with that in the way. So my next plan, my next step is to move these boxes. Was gonna turn them into live or to uh, battery boxes, but these boxes are getting eliminated and the battery's gonna go in this rod rack is actually gonna be moving back i think i'm gonna move it back another uh 10 inches and once it gets moved back then this top will be able to go up and down freely no problem here we are on the other side of the boat here so please ignore all the mess over there i have trash everywhere in this tiny garage so i just put these lights up here um i have not finished hooking them up i'm hooking them up to that toggle switch there was already a hole there i'm gonna go ahead and hook it up back here um until i get my switches and everything redone up on the console which i have in a whole another plan for the console which will come in later another one of the upgrades is you see there's a screen on here now and it used to have that old plastic junk i don't know if you can see it there is now a thousand gallon per hour Johnson aerator in there, or um, live well pump. You see all my wires here, my cables for the uh, trolling motor. These are four gauge, so it makes a huge difference on runtime, battery life, and everything else. Uh, everything is uh, heat shrink, it's all done correctly. The importance of these so let's get into another thing storage this boat right now i use these pods temporarily as storage but ignore that so both sides of these oh by the way the rod right uh the uh, rod holders had to get pulled off to put this down so i put them in the storage storage on both sides of here you have storage storage in here this is for my um, well pretty much anything you have plenty of storage in there for GoPros and everything else I'm gonna be putting a 12 volt plug set up in here for people's phones um, whatever they want to take with them I have storage on both sides that side is where my pump and everything else is, but it does hold my anchor line. And that's the overflow tube right there. And then I do have a dry storage in here. It holds all my tools, um, any excess electronics, um, anything that I need or may need or may have to use later on. Okay, I'm gonna go over one last thing before we end the video. Uh, I have these open because I'm about to show you the lights. Uh, the uh, live well lights that I installed on these. So far that's just that one little light right there. Now one little light right there. If I find it hard to see in the water at night for any reason, if I need it, then I will add another light over there. But for now, that does the job. And also provides a little bit of light in here for the pump, uh, anchor line and everything else.
All right, guys, appreciate y'all watching. That's it for this video. I'm gonna continue working on the boat. Hope you guys enjoyed everything and uh, watch out for the next video. Thank you for watching.